Carolyn wants to ensure that her son has enough money for his first year of college, so she starts an account for him when he is born. If she deposits $1,500 into an account that pays 3.75% interest compounded weekly, how much will be in the account when her son turns 18, assuming she makes no other deposits? Okay, so if you think about it, this is a compounding problem. So the formula for compounding, balance at the end, principal, 1 plus the rate, divided by the number of times you compound, raised to the t times n, where t is the time in years, n is the number of times you compound. Now, if you're compounding weekly, there are 52 weeks in a year, so we know that n equals 52. Principal is how much you start with, so we have a $1,500 principal. Rate is the 3.75%, and our person is turning 18. So when I go to plug these numbers in, I can say my balance, 1,500 times 1 plus. Now, the rate, we can't play with that as a percent, so I put in 0 0.0375 divided by 52 raised to the 18 times 52. And you'll notice I put that 18 times 52 in parentheses because if you plug this into your calculator all at one time, when you use your... Um, caret key to like make that exponent, you're going to want to put that 18 times 52 in parentheses so that um, it multiplies that first because that's the way you want it. So uh, when you do that, you will end up with a balance of $2,945.33. Now there is a way, um, if your calculator doesn't allow you to put all, the, all of this in at the same time, um, you might want to uh, multiply these two numbers together first to get a, a number divide these two, get a number, and then it makes it a little bit easier. You get to do order of operations. So you'll have to work inside the parentheses, then take it to the exponent, and the last thing you do is multiply by 1500 if you are using order of operations. If you're typing it all in at one time, then it doesn't matter. And if you need help with a calculator, uh, shoot me an email. I'll see what I can do for you. Number two, if you deposit $3,000 into an interest-bearing account today, how much will be in the account in 18 months if it pays 2.25% compounded monthly? Okay, well, here's the thing. 18 months, well, that's 1.5 years. So T is 1.5. That's important because in our compounding formula, T is always represented by the number of years. Um, and we're compounding monthly, which means N is 12. So, I can go ahead and say my balance is going to be my principal, 1 plus. My rate is 0 0.0225, because remember, percent must be changed to a decimal. I'm dividing by n, which is 12, and then take into the 12 times t, 1.5. So make sure you have n times t in your exponent. Again, order of operations, if you are not plugging this all into your calculator at one time, but if you are plugging into your calculator all at one time, you get $3,102.88. Now, in number three, we're going to use the same information, but it says now we're going to compound daily. So we're taking out monthly, and we're doing daily. So we still have t equals 1.5. Now, n is daily. There are 365 days in a year. Um, we are still using the rate of 2.25% and the principal of 3,000. So, balance equals principal 1 plus 0 0.0225, because again, percent to a decimal, divided by n, which is 365, and then my exponent is going to be n times t. So 365 times 1.5. And when you punch that into your calculator, you will come up with an answer of $3,102.97. So you can see the difference, 88 cents, 97 cents. Only a difference of 9 cents. Not a huge difference in compounding monthly versus compounding daily, but a little bit of a difference, right? And if we had started with $10,000 instead of $3,000, we might have had a little bit bigger of a difference too. And now number four. During his lifetime, Vincent Van Gogh sold only one painting called The Red Vineyard for 400 francs. It sold just before his death in 1980. Now, if Van Gogh had deposited the 400 francs in an account paying 5% compounded semi-annually, 
what would be in the account now. Okay, so here's my rate, here's my uh, principal. We're talking about semi-annually, which means N is 2. And let's talk years. Okay, so we are in the year 2016. He did all that in 1890. So we are talking a difference of 126 years. So T would be 126. So for my formula, balance equals 400 francs, 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2, raised to the 2 times 126 power. Right, because the we decide 126 years. So I'm going to need some space. We have 201,592.36 francs. That's the answer for number or letter A. Okay, now it says part B, we're going to reduce the percent um, but change it to quarterly. Okay, I'm going to go to a new page for this. So balance 400 still the same 400 1 plus it said it changed it to 4.75 percent quarterly quarterly means four times a year exponent is four times 126 because we're still using the same amount of years so when I do that I'm at 153,461.88 francs so let's go back to our main page here and the answer for this one, as I just wrote on that last page. So you can see, even though, oh, forgot the end. Um, in part B, it compounded more often, right? Instead of semi-annually, semi it was quarterly, but the rate went down. And so a lower percentage rate, even though you're compounding more often, does not always mean uh, more money. Okay, now in part C, it says, uh, assuming that the 400 francs uh, that Van Gogh received were worth about $1,500 in today's currency, how much would be in the higher paying account? Well, the higher paying account was account A. So we're saying if we used $1,500, 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2, 2 times 126, right, higher paying. So the only thing that's changing is that we are using dollars instead of um uh, francs, we end up with an amount of $755,971.35. Now, you could have also done this a little bit differently. Um, you could have set it up as a proportion. Whereas if you can say, if we have francs on top, I forgot to see, and dollars on the bottom, if we know that 400 francs is the same as $1,500, then, and we know that in part A, we found 201000 592.36 francs. How many dollars is that? Well, if you cross multiply, you end up with 755,971 and 35 cents. So because you have a comparison, you could have done that one two different ways.